So basically, we are now on our flight. So basically, now finally got on the flight. We are going to be heading over to Miami right now. Uh, how long is it? Alright, so we just landed in Puerto Rico. Finally, long ass flight. Nine hours. Nine hours. But we are here. Alright, so we made it to Puerto Rico. We're currently in the car. This is uh, one of the customers, Francisco. And then this is Nacho. Uh, we're gonna be uh, doing a full PDM chassis harness on those. Same thing we did in Washington. But yeah, we made it safely. It was a long flight. Stay tuned. So we got a lot to do. Basically, six cars are gonna gonna be wired up. We're gonna be doing complete chassis harnesses, uh, headlights, taillights, turn signals, brake lights, all that shit. If you guys want to see our chassis harness, you can go ahead and uh, go out to our page. We will have a link in on the bio thing. But other than that, these are the cars. I'm hyped. All right. So sorry about all the late updates and not really doing much. I know, like you're gonna see, like what the fuck. A lot just happened. So basically, we're just chilling and prepping the cars. The harnesses still haven't came in, so we're just like, what can we do? We looked at the engines that still weren't prepped, and we need to swap this engine to that car and vice versa. So we had a couple people, and we said, let's just pull the engines out. So we got this one out, <laughs> this one out too. Just gotta take off all this bullshit and then swap it over there, and that's it. The V8 with the brick. Now, this is. Um, this is Nacho's motor, and this originally was in the S14, so we're moving it over to the S13 because this is an S13KA, and he had an S14KA, and since this one had the S13KA, it was running all the S14 electronics, so the distributor wasn't working. So instead of us doing some Mickey Mouse shit, we're just going to swap the motors into the correct chassis and shit like that. But, yep, got the table over there. This is a welding table we're gonna make. That shit's half inch. I swear to God, that shit's like 400 pounds. But yeah, we got it over there. Come all the way over there. We rolled it. Like, you have no idea. This shit was crazy. I wish we got it on video, but nope. Anyways, yep. Stay tuned. Woo. Hola, El Famotes was Puerto Rico. So, we are, like I said, moving our fucking entire motor over to that side, but Albertito. Got the bolt stuck, so I have to get off. That's off now. Uh, you know, they're rusted, so. Albertito. That is not my fault, puppy. Look at Bobby. that. Look at that. Bye, that's, the, that's the size, but. Hey, right, Bobby. It ain't going in. Bobby, you're So, how is it over here, bro? Chilling, you know, I got engines leaning on my leg and shit. Nothing good. Your alpha, that's why. So when we pulled this, we didn't know that this schlong was coming with it. Yeah, so we basically pulled it out with our hands. Yeah. And like, once we were pulling it out, it was almost like, oh shit, like there's the exhaust. Fupa! <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, I know I should have brought my three eights. All right, can we uh? Oh well. Wow. Oh, let's just put on the jack. All right. So right now I am uh, gonna start figuring out his whole inner mount, inner mount. What the fuck? Inner cooler mounting situation. I already have a an idea for his bracket that I'm gonna make. So let's get this started. All right, so we are currently painting his manifold as well. This is just a basic T3, T4 manifold off of eBay. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. But for the power range that he's going to be using, it's perfectly fine. Um, for his turbo setup, it's going to be a Garrett. I forgot the actual specs of this, but it's basically for like a four-cylinder to six-cylinder turbo. It is dual ball bearing. So right now, I'm on this side because I don't think they can see the line. So we're going to be cutting out the actual brace for the upper portion of the intercooler and then I'm going to reinforce it and make tabs for it to bolt right onto the core support. 
But yep, it's the tent. All right, so right now I finally finished cutting off that one piece for the intercooler bracket over there. Now I'm uh, showing little Paquito over here how to run the grinder, make that nice and clean so it can weld it. You know what it is? I'm gonna start drilling the holes for his intercooler brackets. So what I'm gonna do is drill holes right here, bolt this to the actual intercooler itself and then i'm gonna weld two little l brackets right here well one right here and one right here and they're gonna bolt to the core support he has a pretty good core support so it should work out All right, so bracket is basically almost finished up. So there's uh, the little bracket I made. So it's basically two two inches by 28 inches, and these are little four inch brackets. And right, then I'm gonna be drilling little holes right here so it's removable, it's gonna bolt up to his core support, like I said. I'm not the best welder, but it'll do the job. All right, time to do the drain. So we started draining the oil and we realized that the oil looked like coffee. So what we're assuming though is because I, I took off the valve cover earlier and it looked really clean, like someone did the head gasket. And as you can tell, the head looks pretty brand new, right? So what I'm assuming is they left the old oil into the oil pan and they just still did the head gasket because I've done that a couple times as well. Um, we're gonna do a leak down test to verify it. But other than that, everything's going really well. Up in the bay right now i'm um, doing his return and fuel system and all that shit right now but yeah just a little update okay so um now we are going to start taking off the pan as i said we're going to start prepping the motor to go back into the car and then i'm going to do a pressure test on the head gasket and we're going to hope for the best i really 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 hope we don't have to do his head gasket because we have a lot to do and the harnesses still haven't even came yeah so we sent the harnesses out on the 17th and they're still not here and today is what's the date today it's like the 24th damn it's the 24th and they're still not here but we're still getting shit done you know about to take off the pan um other than that stay tuned what's up guys so as you can see uh i got a little injury no this is not car related i went to go skate at Galle skate park and not even like a cool trick like you would, would expect, you know, like I was going and I'm gonna go down this little waterfall and then I hit a rock and I flew off the whole thing and then just tried to catch myself and messed up. But other than that, you know, we're still working. Um, so right now, check it out, come over here. So we got this old uh, hot side for the K situated basically. So, you know, we got the Garrett. What is this, a 30? 30, 3076. 3076 Gen 2 Garrett. We got a Turbo Smart 38 millimeter wastegate. I made him his oil line, tapped his pan. Um, just got his oil feed tapped off of the oil filter as well. Well, the oil pressure sensor, we teed it off in that for you. And there she is. The Puerto Rico Alpha Motorsports Bill S14 KAT. This shit's sick. All right, so now the downpipe is uh, finally painted. Um, now we are painting the uh, the up pipe. Well, I'm sorry, the dump tube. And then we're going to heat wrap them. Progress, progress, progress. All right, is it is about 1 a.m. And we are going to start putting the tranny on pretty tired honestly but I got this all right so after waiting over a week the harnesses that we built in Los Angeles and shipped out to Puerto Rico finally got here now everything can start had such a great time enjoying everything you know having fun 
But now, now it's time to get down and dirty. All right, so we're basically finished up with the S14. Um, we are missing missing his headlight switch, but I basically have all the runs we need already ready to go. So once I get the switch, I just tie it all in. But um, we got his ignition switch right here. This is his fuel pump, obviously. This is gauges. These are both of his E-fans. Two individual uh, relays uh, rated for 2,500 CFM. Power to the computer. You know, we got the traditional two port USB fast charge. And then, sorry, sorry guys. There's the fans right there. Nice little harness. So right now, <clears throat> okay. So right now I'm gonna be removing the brake booster as well as the uh, brake lines and a bunch of other shit. So we're gonna do a chase base, brake booster, uh, the delete, as well as the relocation and independent hydro and new lines to the brake calipers. We also got new Z32 uh, front calipers as well as the rears coming in. So what I'm doing right now is gonna take that out so I can basically fit this section over there because everybody knows uh, the brake booster always tends to melt whenever you have like an S SR, big turbo or KA, depending on your manifold though. And this manifold sits pretty far back, so, yep. Slowly lower it, slowly lower it. Do you want me to do it? Um, hey, I can't get you. You want me to do it? Oh, my bad. Sorry. Sorry. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, it's okay. Keep going. Oh. Lower it. Oh. The trans is just on the seat, right? Alright, push it back. Alright, there you go. Wait, a little bit lower. Right there. But do we have both bolts? Don't, don't lower it. Oh, we don't have one. Alright, let's find the other ones. Good morning. So, it is the third day we are actually going to be working on the cars. Well, actually, second or third for the wiring specifically. But, um, so today we're going to be focusing on the BMW E30. This is Ming's. And then as well as the Black S13 down there. So, last night we uh, ended up being able to put in the KA that we put together. As well as finishing up the entire car base. Not in the entire car, sorry about that. But all the main parts. You know, chassis harness is wired up. Engine is swapped and in there. Everything's bolted, ready to go. Cooling system. All the little ports and shit on the manifold have been vacuumed. But yeah, so now all we're gonna do today is wire up the E30 and the black uh, 240 over here. And that's pretty much it. All right, so just a little update. So ahora mismo no tengo nada. All right, another update for you guys. So like I said, engines in, chassis wired up. We also got the E36 wired up. Also have that S13 right there wired up and another S13. So basically four cars in two days, as well as doing a KAT conversion, like, you know, um, pulling the pan, resealing it, tapping it for a drain, doing all the custom tapping for the oil feed, blah, 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 whoop de whoop, all that shit. Motors in as well. Um, fuel systems hooked up too. Now, basically just gonna start doing his intercooler. So his uh, hot side's getting finished right now. I unfortunately don't have a TIG welder, so I'm not able to do one piece piping. But other than that, this should be completely fine. Really, really clean, set, simple setup. What's up, YouTube? So basically, um, this is just gonna be another little update on what's going on. Right now, we're modifying the downpipe. Like I said, my buddy over here in Puerto Rico helped me out. Um, so we're modifying the downpipe right now. I'm, I'm installing a, a flange, not a flange, I'm sorry about that. Uh, bung for his AFR, well, his wide band. And then also we got the whole entire motor back together. Motor's back together, harness is on, everything's plugged in, fuel system's situated, piping is all done. We decided to put his dump tube going down to the floor, so I modified that as well. Yes, the rack has perfect clearance. So, yep, that's it. 
they're about to put in the, the motor right now because so the chassis is wired up basically the, so our harness is installed but i still have to wire the engine as well as the headlights in the front portion of the car so i need all this situated same thing with a couple of other things this e30 is basically done as well but now i'm going to be situating it all right so another update so here's the 30 feet of uh line for the windows like i said i'm getting the windows done finally figured out how their circuits worked got everything situated so now i'm just uh, looming everything up and gonna start routing it and cleaning it up in here so that it can sit in his car nice and comfortable things like that but right now i'm gonna be finishing up his fuel system got a uh, some dash 8 nylon line this is a uh, red horse performance so we got all this stuff over at Jimmy Bo. Jimmy Bo is located in Puerto Rico. It's like, honestly, my favorite shop now. I've been to a lot of shops in SoCal and Jimmy Bo is pretty sick. They have almost everything I can think of that I would want to get for my personal cars in stock on deck. And no, this is not a paid advertisement. I just really like it. Kind of a Summit tank. Like I said, Dash 8B, Dash 8 return. Kind of going overkill on this entire fill system so that if he ever wants to, you know, change out the motor to like an LS or something and make a little more power, he's basically ready to go and he doesn't have to change over his fuel system all right guys another update it's about 11 30 at night over here and uh finally got a bunch of shit done got the am 450 in place as well as everything plumbed gonna be making a bracket going from here to there to hold the pump with the strap on top as well as making two straps right here got a like i said dash eight feed dash eight return whole chassis harness is completed we also now have all of his chase base parts in basically. So we, <laughs> well, Paco basically balled the fuck out. He got the chase base power steering kit, the chase base clutch, uh, clutch master reservoir, the chase base brake booster delete kit, the chase base independent hydro, you know, rear line tab kit. He got the chase base, uh, relocation kit for all the lines he got all new lines for the brakes from chase bays literally every every hydraulic fluid line on here is basically all chase bays and new it's pretty cool but we also got all the intercooler piping plumbed like i said oh yeah top it off you got the oil cooler as well right here from chase base uh chase base you guys need to sponsor my boy but yeah so this is the power steering cooler we're gonna make a little bracket it's gonna sit behind this but i'm gonna make the bracket coming off of here going to there so i gotta take that off again sand it down and all that fun stuff but yep here's an update on ming's car so basically everything's done the windows are been situated and this one has been fun for the windows because check this out so bmws like to put their uh buttons in the center console so imagine i have to plumb wires coming in and back out into the whole entire car so it was fun but we got it and uh unfortunately uh unfortunately his motor's not starting uh for some unknown reasons i haven't actually personally diagnosed it i've been busy with a lot of other things but we do have power to it it's just not getting spark injectors are giving signal blah 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 but it'll be situated apparently um some guy's gonna come and situate that i could do it but he doesn't want me to so that's okay and then also the e36 has now been wired up um complete chassis harness oem style so the car starts and runs and everything like that so now all we're doing is the actual windows now uh the climate control and just finished up more of the cluster and then the black s13 right here is full oem style as well this one has the cluster working now and everything like that we could have started it but the engine harness is basically trash so not gonna waste our time trying to give power to that um only thing left now is climate control and hmm, what else cluster is done no yeah climate control and that's pretty much it all right so basically uh, right now we finally got everything situated whole fuel systems tied in we got all the little bugs situated um finally got all the clamps we needed everything on the cooling side blocked off so there's no leaks now i'm gonna go ahead and make a little bleeder to uh, bleed the cooling system since i don't have a, a heater control as well as my dash not working so i need to guarantee there's no air in this so right now what i'm doing is making a little bleeder i always like to tape the tip of a bottle if you're if you're not a baller you don't have the fucking 80 dollar bleeder thing you can make this at home so you just fucking tape your bottle, the tip of it, 
yeah. It's where it fits flush inside of the actual yeah. cap. Put it down and you tape it up so it stays. And then you can actually fill the bottle with water so that air, no, the, the water has the, that is the highest point of the engine so all the air will travel to it. So that's a better way to bleed your car if you don't have a, everything working. When I say go, turn on the water. Go ahead, turn it on a little. Pause. Lock. Go ahead and do Hold on. It's coming through the hole. You know? Oh, hey, and I see you there. Um, so basically, this is one of our last days over in Puerto Rico. Let me put the tea for you. Um, one of our last days in Puerto Rico. Got to finish up a couple things. You know, um, we got some shit to do on Ming's car, the E30. Got some shit to do on the S14, the E36, the E36, the S13, basically all the cars. Not a lot of stuff, but just a little bit of tie-ins, you know, like third brake light to make this unique a little, uh, this unique, this E30 a little unique. Other than that, um, let me see, what else do we have? What else do we have to do? Really not much. S14 runs already, whole fuel system is tied in. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Gave him a Wobble 450 with Dash 8 fuel system. So Dash 8 B, Dash 8 return, as I said. Got all the cars running our PDM chassis harness. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Sorry, sorry about that boss man. Come over here guys. So this is Ming Z30, cool little bugger. He has uh, the OEM chassis harness installed on it. Comes with a functional cluster. Um, he is gonna be having AC as well. Windows work, headlights, tail lights, turn signals, brake lights, dome lights, fuel pump, ECU power, a bunch of stuff. And then uh, originally when we came here, the motor didn't want to start. So shout out to Ming's uh, boss, he's like a BMW tech. He uh, came over here and diagnosed the car, I didn't really have time, so he came over here, got everything situated. Turned out to just be a sensor not plugged in underneath the intake manifold. Um, other than that, this thing's ready to go, she's ready to drive, just a little hiccup, like a little misfire, but <clears throat> my boy will take care of that. <clears throat> Sorry about the mess. Well, basically, when we came over here to Puerto Rico, we were only here to wire up six cars. Um, we did not plan to do any mechanical work or nothing like that. So when we came here, I found out that the S, so the S13 right there, uh, parked horizontally, that had a S14 KA and this had a S13 KA. So what we did was we pulled out each motor and flipped them because they were trying to run an S13 distributor on an S14 motor and you know the casing size is a little different well vice versa s14 on s13 so the casing size for the timing cover is a little different so they didn't want to work and um we got fortunate enough so when i pulled out the motor Baco wanted to turbo the ka so i said cool let's do it i'm here let's do it so i went over there got all the custom fittings i needed made his drain got his manifold situated made his dump made his uh, down pipe full fuel system wired up the engine harness to work did all the piping did all the brackets for the inner core, it's pretty strong, you know, I can't stand on this baby. Um, let me see, I would have wanted to do one piece piping, but I unfortunately don't have a tick machine here. He got us a MIG machine, thank God. My boy came over here and was like, yeah, 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 no problem, I'm gonna buy you a welder and all this stuff so you can get th things done for us. I love that. But also, we're running all the chase base stuff as well, so we have the chase base power steering relocation, the chase base brake booster delete, chase base um, clutch master cylinder, as well as all uh, chase base brake lines, as chase base clutch lines. So all of everything on this so whole situation is basically chase base. And uh, regulator is going to be aeromotive. And like I said, it's dash eight feet, dash eight return, Walbro 400 fuel pump in line. And what else have we done? Like I said, chassis harness. Um, that's pretty much situated. This one, this one's pretty much done as well. Um, when we came here, the motor was not in, blah, blah, blah. So we had to kind of like keep jumping back and forth. But now she starts and runs. But the injector seals are a little leaky. So he has to change those out. Good morning, everybody. This is our last day in Puerto Rico. Finally got everything situated last night. The S13 starts. Everything's situated on that car. The E36 is situated. This E36 is situated. This S14 is situated. But we got my boy, me, right here right now, putting on the drive shaft. You know, nothing big. Same up to the cameraman. Oh, yeah. He's the owner of this E30 right here. Um, so today we're basically gonna be tying, not tying in. We're gonna be taking a couple of harnesses with us because we unfortunately um, we lost a week because we when we came over here prior we sent the harnesses out and they arrived a week after we arrived. So it took time away from us. So we're gonna be taking a couple harnesses back and building them. So basically plug and play kits so that we can. Send them over here to Puerto Rico and they can just plug them in. And they're gonna be specifically for like the AC and what else. So a couple cars.
cars that have the AC situated and it doesn't have to But, 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 but. Let's show you guys um, all the little things that we got over here now. I'll finish up more on the S4 too. But yeah, so I uh, basically got his whole couch can now situated. As you can see, I got his uh, PCD, PCD valve coming from here to the couch can, couch can going back to the intake. I uh, made him a little intake, tapped it right there for the fucking fitting. Just gotta get him a four inch to three inch um, coupler. That's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it, guys. <laughs> Seriously, that's pretty much it. Had such a great time here. Really sad that we gotta go home. I'd so much rather be here than California. The people here are great. The food is the food here is great. The car scene here is great. In California, nothing but ricers. Like people out here buying 350Zs and G35s and just literally drifting them as is at a stoplight. Why? Why? I can't even drive my white body rocket bunny BMW anymore because you guys are just doing stupid shit. That's why I love the scene over here and that's why I want to move over here. Why? Because everyone here really enjoys cars. Like, they're not just about it because their friends like it. They actually really enjoy cars. And you see the, the cars that we would consider riced out over there are actually clean. Like, I've never seen a Scion TC that's turbo. Or the Mirage. Yeah, <laughs> I've been seeing Mirages that have two-step and turbo and all this crazy shit. You know, people actually really enjoy their cars here. So, we definitely are gonna be back to Puerto Rico really soon. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed this whole video and this whole clip, the entire process. Stay tuned. Hit us up if you guys need anything.